Hi, this is Mike Green, otherwise known as Dodgy on the Lightwave forums. And I'm just going to show you some more features of the Lightwave Unreal Bridge, uh, which I'm going to cover today is going to be lights. So, if we have a look here, I've got a whole bunch of lights um, just set up on a plane to show you the different shapes. So you can see we've got a point light, we've got a spherical light, We've got a linear light, we've got an area light, we've got a IES light, so if we get the photometric type, and we've got a distant light as well, and here we've got three um, spotlights. So we can see here, this is a spotlight with a 15 degree uh, spread, this one's a 30 degree spread, and this one is a 50 degree spread, so you can see there various widths. So if I just bring up the Unreal Bridge, which you do by opening the master plugins and opening the Unreal Bridge panel, and we've got it right here, so if I click connect, and I've got live sync here, I'm going to show you the live sync function as well. So if I go to send it across, you can see here I've got the uh, standard Unreal setup, but I've taken out the sky sphere and all the lights that it produces. And you can see all my lights have come in as expected. Uh, we have our point light. You can see in the reflection in the um, plane there, it looks like a point light. We've got this one, which is like looks like a sphere light. Uh, we've got this one. So this looks like our linear light. You can see there it's got the correct shape. Over here we've got our area light and again you can see it's got the reflection correct in the surface of the uh, plane. We've got this one here which has just set the point light because it's not the IS lights don't get translated as such yet. So I hope we look forward to those in the future. Uh, and here we've got our distant light. Now the distant light isn't actually on at the moment. You can see the intensity here is set to zero lux. Uh, that's just because it would blow out all the other lights if I turn that on. So I'll show you that in a second. But you can see here we've got our spotlight with 15 degree spread. We've got our spotlight here with its 30 degree spread. And we've got our final spotlight here with its 50 degree spread. Okay. So if I go, if I just pull this over here and just show you both panels at the same time. Now for this to work, you want to go to the Editor Preferences and you go to the Performance tab and you want to just disable Use Less CPU when in background because when it does that it doesn't live link to the Unreal Bridge. But if we have the live sync on here, and we have that disabled in here, if I just bring open this a bit and bring up the light properties, you can see. Just move it around a bit. If I change the color here, then it changes the color in Unreal, and you can change the brightness. See it's getting more and more intense, or you can fade it out as you reduce it. So you can adjust your lights in Lightwave and see the effect in real time in Unreal. So let's just have a look at these spotlights. If I can select the spotlight. There we go. So if I adjust the spotlight's cone angle, you can see it's affecting the cone angle of the red spotlight in Unreal. And if I just adjust the soft edge, you can see that also is adjusted in Unreal. So you get a, a pretty good um, link between the Lightwave lights and the Unreal lights. And you can use most of the, uh, um, the Lightwave lights as they are in Unreal. Uh, so, just reset that. Now let's have a look at the distant light. So here's the distant light. And if I boost up the intensity of that, you can see it's a nice magenta light. And you can see as I'm adjusting it, 
it's also adjusting in the Unreal Editor. So you can basically set up your lights in Lightwave and it'll, they will be reflected in the Unreal Editor as you uh, play with them. So that's a very useful tool in the new Unreal Bridge. So I hope you find that as useful as I will. I'm building levels and things. Okay, thank you very much.